Which AI image generator actually makes the best t-shirt designs? Let's find out. We're gonna do a fun experiment today. I've grabbed one of the best selling t-shirt designs from last year, and I've actually put that into ChatGPT and ask it to give me the best prompt to use to recreate a similar t-shirt design. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna use that prompt and we're gonna put the exact same prompt into nine of the top AI image generators and see which ones give us the best t-shirt designs. The two things I'm looking for in this demonstration are number one, how usable is that t-shirt design? So is it gonna be something we can actually use on a t-shirt or in print on demand? And number two, how close is it to the original design? So let's jump in and I'll show you what's going on. Okay, so I've got ChatGPT loaded up and here's what I've done. I have uploaded this screenshot from one of the best-selling t-shirt designs of last year. You can see it's this image of Jesus, the faith niche, and his face is kind of inside of this cross design. Really cool design and it sold really well last year. And so what I've uh, said to ChatGPT, this is one of the best-selling t-shirt designs of 2024 in the faith niche. I want you to analyze this image and give me a detailed prompt that I can use in any AI image generator to recreate the design. The prompt should help me create a t-shirt design that I can use in a print-on-demand software on my own product. This is what it gave me. So it gave me this prompt right here. Now I'm not gonna read through the entire prompt, but you can see that it's a really detailed prompt and it specifically mentions things like the style, a black line art illustration. It features Jesus Christ right there. You can see it goes through details on of the design, but you can also see at the end, it says this artwork should be optimized for a t-shirt design with a transparent background, making it suitable for print on demand platforms. So I've read through this. This should be a really good prompt to try to generate something similar that we could use in a print on demand or a t-shirt design. So let's go ahead and copy this prompt and paste it into nine of the top AI image generators and see what we get. And one last note is that I did choose this design specifically because it also didn't have any text in the design. As you may or may not know, most AI image generators still struggle a little bit with te generating text with the exception of a few of them. And I'll kind of talk about that as I go, but I did select a design that didn't have any text. Let's start off with one of the big dogs and that's gonna be Mid Journey. I pasted my prompt in here. We're gonna hit the enter button and we're gonna let that generate. Next, we're gonna pop this into chat GPT. I'm gonna hit that and let that generate. We're gonna come over to Gemini, Google Gemini. I'm gonna put in the prompt. I've already done that here. I'm gonna hit the submit button. Going over to Adobe Firefly, I've pasted it in down here at the bottom. I'm gonna hit the generate button and let it do its thing. Next, we have Recraft. I've pasted it in over here. Now in Recraft, I have selected vector art as the style. I'm gonna hit Recraft and let that generate an image there. Next, I've got Ideogram. I think one of the front runners for this because it does t-shirt design really well. I've selected the design uh, style, pasted in that prompt. We're gonna hit that generate button. Next, over on DeepSeek, another one I really haven't used much. We'll see what it does. I've pasted it in the prompt. I've added create an image of. We're gonna pop that in there. Next, we've got Kittle. Over here in the Kittle image generator, I've pasted in the prompt right here. I have selected the style of t-shirt graphic. Let's hit generate image, and we'll see what that does. And lastly, we're also gonna put this into Canva over here at Elements. We're gonna hit generate your own. I've pasted in the prompt here. I've taken a look at the styles in Canva. I didn't find any that really fit this style. So I'm just gonna uh, just do it just blank. And we're just gonna hit generate image here. So let's start looking at the results and see which one did the best. Are you looking to start up a brand new online apparel or print on demand business in 2025, but you're not sure where to get started? If that sounds like you, I wanna invite you to go watch my free class over at shirtschool.com. I'll break down my shirt school system that has helped thousands of people start and grow profitable online apparel brands over the last five and a half years. And I'll give you lots of information, help you get started. And I'll also give you some info on how to get plugged in with our program called Shirt School if you want some deeper training and you want help from me on how to get your business going. So to check that out, just go over to shirtschool.com or check the link in the description. You can click on that link and I hope to see you there.
And I've opened up the screenshot here. This is the original screenshot from the previous design that we just took a screenshot straight from the internet. So we can kind of come back to this and compare. So starting off with Mid Journey. So here's what we got in Mid Journey. Now, in Mid Journey, we got four images. So I'm gonna scroll through all four of these images. Um, but remember, what I'm looking for is number one, is it usable? Is it something that we could actually use on a t-shirt design uh, that would be a potential good t-shirt design? And then number two, how close did it get to the original design? So you can see here, here's the first one. Now this one, really cool, could potentially be used on a t-shirt, except our cross is kind of stretched out. So that one's probably not gonna work. This one, also really cool. This definitely could be used on a t-shirt design. It's got a white background to make it easy to kind of remove the background. Really cool image. Another one here, a pretty, pretty cool image, uh, possibly usable on a t-shirt. And then lastly, this one here, it's got a little bit of deformities down here, probably not the best image to use. So I would say we got maybe one or two usable designs. Uh, but we got two that probably weren't usable. And then also it didn't get very close to what we asked it for because we wanted kind of the, 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 the image of Jesus inside of the cross design. So it really didn't do a great job in that regard. And Mid Journey is one of the, I would say more highly regarded, better you know, image generators, but didn't do the best job with this prompt. Next, let's take a look at what we got from ChatGPT using Dolly 3. You can see here, we pasted this in, we select an image. This is the image that we got. Now, first of all, I would say for a t-shirt design, really cool image. This is very usable in my opinion. Uh, it's got the solid black background so we can easily remove the background. And I think this is a very well put together image. You know, what I don't like about this image just from a personal standpoint is I don't love the eyes here. I think if we regenerated this in, in Dolly, we could probably get a better image. But I would say surprisingly, I don't love using Dolly for t-shirt designs, but this did a pretty good job with the exception of kind of just the face doesn't really, I don't love the way that the face looks, but I would also say it didn't get very close to our reference design here where we really have that face of Jesus kind of embedded in the cross, but it is a cool design. And I would say, in my opinion, this is better than the mid journey design. It's from a usability standpoint, a well put together image that you could use on a t-shirt. Next, taking a look at Google Gemini. Now Google Gemini can generate images, but unfortunately it said, I'm still learning how to generate certain kinds of images. So I might not be able to create exactly what you're looking for. Also, I can't help with photorealistic images of identifiable people, children, or other images that go against my guidelines. If you'd like to ask for something else, just let me know. What's weird about this is I didn't find anything in here that I thought would fall out of the guidelines or would include, you know, photorealistic images. I'm asking it for a t-shirt design and we're using the face of Jesus. Obviously is a very recognizable character, but not something that has any kind of like trademark or copyright on it. So, you know, unfortunately Jim and I couldn't generate the image. I don't know why. Next, taking a look at Adobe Firefly, a really cool image generation tool. This is what we got. So we got these four images right here. Number one, I would say these are really great looking images. I mean, they're very cool looking images, but I would say really none of these, in my opinion, would be able to be used on a t-shirt. I mean, maybe with some heavy doctoring, you could get these to a place where you could use them on a t-shirt, but you know, the image includes more of the body of Jesus and that's gonna be hard to kind of form that into a t-shirt design. It's gonna be hard to remove the background with all of the different kind of sun rays uh, coming out of the, the cross here and everything. So this is probably my least favorite so far, Adobe Firefly. Taking a look at Recraft, we've talked about Recraft quite a bit on the channel here, mostly for mock-ups, but it also does generate images and it does a pretty great job. And so look at what we've got here. Now we did select vector art here in the style and there's lots of different styles that you can create. Uh, so this is what we got. We got two images, we got this one and then we also got this one right here. Now there's a couple interesting thoughts I have um, about this. Uh, first of all, are they usable? I would say it's borderline. This one probably here, maybe a little bit more usable than this one, just cause you've got some weird stuff happening here at the bottom. You could probably edit this a little bit. He's also got some like feathers coming out of his crown of thorns there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that would really be usable. This one here is, I think, I think the image works. You could put it on a t-shirt, um, but it's not very aesthetically pleasing. 
I would say I really like how it did the black and white line art, right? Because if we go back here to this image, it's literally just black and it is that really that kind of line art style. There's not a lot of detail to this image. So I think actually if we talk about how close Recraft got to the original image, I think it did the best job so far. But as far as it being a t-shirt design that's really usable and sellable, I would say it's on the lower side. So it's really not that great of a design. So it kind of did great in one aspect of, of how close it got to the original design, but not so great in regards to it just being a good design you could use and sell. Okay, next up would be my front runner, my favorite AI image generator specifically for t-shirt designs, and that would be Ideogram. So let's take a look at what we got in Ideogram. So here's, we got four images in Ideogram. We got this one, we got this one right here, we got this one, and we got this one. So a couple things I would say, as far as, again, how close it got to the original design, I'm gonna put this kind of on that same, uh, the same uh, idea as Recraft. It did the line art, which was, you know, this ideogram and, and Recraft are the only ones that actually did the line art. And it came up with an image that was just black and white. So it's gonna be easy to remove that background. It's gonna be a lot easier. It's gonna, in my opinion, look a lot similar to the original design. But as far as from a usability standpoint, I think this is better than re what Recraft did from a usability standpoint. I think, in my opinion, without being able to see the bottom part of the cross, you kind of lose some of that effect of the image because, you know, just right off the bat, you, you don't, I guess you'll instantly recognize it as the cross, the resurrection cross. So I think that in that aspect, it's a little bit, um, you know, it's not, not as good, but like this one right here, I mean, that's a pretty great image that you could put on a t-shirt. I think, you know, maybe you could do a little bit of editing yourself or regenerate this and have the bottom of the cross coming out below, below this uh, area of Jesus. I also like the, the first image. I think this one's really good as well. This one probably, it's gotta be in my top so far um, because it got pretty, it got closer to the original image with the styling, with the line art styling. As far as from a usability standpoint, I don't think it's the best design in that regard so far, but I think it did a, a pretty good job. Next up, DeepSeek. For all the hype that DeepSeek has gotten, apparently it can't create images. I wasn't aware. So I asked it to create an image of, and then I paste it in the prompt. It told me kind of how to create it. So then I asked it, can you create an image for me? And it said, I'm unable to directly create or render images. That's pretty disappointing. Again, DeepSeek kind of upended the whole AI industry uh, a month ago or so, but it can't even create images. Come on, man, you gotta be able to create images. So I thought that's pretty wild. Next, taking a look at Kittle AI. Now, Kittle's one of my favorite tools and I do like the AI that, uh, that Kittle has. So I pasted in, um, or the AI features that Kittle has. So I pasted in that prompt. I did select the t-shirt design style and this is what we got. Um, I don't think this is very good. You know, from a usability standpoint, it's gonna be hard to use. It's gonna need a lot of help because it didn't give us a solid background. And it also didn't do great as far as the styling. It didn't get the style very close. So this is actually one of my least favorites so far because it really didn't hit either one of my criteria for being a usable image and also being true to the original design style. You can see here how the cross is kind of coming out of his head. That's not gonna work. It doesn't have a solid background. It's gonna be a little bit harder to remove the background. This just isn't a, a very usable image. Lastly, taking a look at what we got from Canva. Here's what we generated from Canva. There's four images here. I know there's a little bit smaller on the screen, but I'm actually gonna select this one right here because this is kind of the one I wanna highlight. Uh, so Canva gave us four images. Now, I give Canva a lot of flack on the channel, specifically for their AI features, because I don't think that their AI image generation has been that great to this point, and it's still not my favorite. But I must say, this is a pretty good image. If we look at the usability of it, we look at the design of it, this kind of meets that criteria. It's pretty close in the style. It is that line art kind of simple style. And I think it's a pretty usable image. It's not the most aesthetically pleasing. I think this is the best of the four. The other kind of weird thing here is it did this kind of like dark image, which is kind of weird. Uh, this is like, you know, very dark for some reason, but I do think it'd be pretty easy to remove the background in this one. We could probably get something pretty usable out, the, out of this. I think it, 
uh, is pretty close to that original image. Now, it's not exactly what we're looking for. We don't have Jesus kind of in the cross design, but it is similar style. And it also is pretty usable. I think it. I think this could go on a t-shirt pretty easily. So I think Canva did a pretty good job there. And it's gotta be in my top kind of favorites in this experiment. Okay, I've narrowed it down to my top three. I wanna know in the comments, which one do you think did the best job? But here's my top three in no order. It's hard to choose the best one. I, I think probably my favorite is the ChatGPT doll lead generation, which I did not expect at the beginning of this experiment. So I actually think this is probably the most usable image. If I just had to pick my favorite, aesthetically pleasing, I love the style. Um, I don't love the eyes in this one, but this was something that I think could go on a t-shirt and probably be pretty successful. Um, this is a great design, easy to remove that background. We've just got like a black background. Uh, the other two, I've just picked three, Ideogram, I think did a pretty good job. This image specifically is one that I think that we could use on a t-shirt design. And it did get pretty close to that original style with the line art style. I like how this is just, there's just not a lot of detail in this, which is great for a t-shirt. Uh, I think this could be something that's potentially usable. And then third, I didn't expect, but I, I think this this design from Canva is one of the best. It might be, might be the best. Um, you know, I wanna know down in the comments again, which do you love the best out of all nine of these? Um, but this is a pretty great image, right? I think it's well put together. I think it's simple. It has that line art style, easy to remove the background, that kind of, it's got that dark gray kind of color. But um, man, I think I think it did a pretty good job. So those would be my top three, Dolly inside ChatGPT, Ideogram and Canva. Uh, that would be my top three. So let me know in the comments which image generator you think did the best. And if you wanna see me do a full comparison between Canva and Kittle, just click here to watch that video.